Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 23 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 4, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we finally get our chance to battle Lu Bu. Still not liking the fact that I have to, but we do, because we've never done this level before. Well, we've done this area before, but not exactly this type of stage. Okay, so I did a little bit of training, so now Jaho Doom's weapon's at level 6. One more level and it should transform. I'm actually going to take off the 7 star stash and put on the uh, speed belt? Where's that to? Ah, uh, speed scroll, I mean. Just to increase my speed. You, you'll find out why soon enough. As for the Much Games crew, I'm going to take them off Pike, and they could use a little bit more life, so let's put them on Sword. Okay, also, this might be a good time to see what other character models I have. And unfortunately, you do have to go to change character. Okay, I got this one, this one. To be honest with you, I kind of like... There's still a big amount of difference. This one probably has a cape, yeah. I'm not really a fan of the cape, so let's just go with our standard attire. Do I have to go back to my equipment again? Yes, I do. Because I didn't save. Fair enough. And I gotta set you butt guys back to sword. And I guess you remember that it's starting to only gave me two. Alright, so our objective is to defeat Lu Bu's inside Japi Castle. This will not be easy because he is powered up. He is Lubu after all. And we gotta do this at night time. The beast Lubu must die today. You make it sound so easy, Cao Cao. It's anything but. Lubu has tightly shut his gates. First, we must eliminate any enemies that come charging out. And there will be quite a few. In fact, some of them are battling us to the south and to the west. So in this battle, like, uh, Liu Bei's forces join up with us, because he originally had Xia Pi Castle, Liu Bei did, and lost it to Lu Bu. But that was his fault for actually allowing Lu Bu into his home. And then Lu Bu turned on him. Oh, well, they're not that strong. Alright, that went reasonably well. First, let's take out some of these troops. Ow, right in the bandana. Soon, Cow Cow will bring light to the world. For that, I'll give him one eye. Yeah, this was the infamous battle where Jaho Doon lost his eye. They didn't show the part where he actually ate it. He said he ate it was because it was a part of his parents. And because it was a part of his parents, he wanted to keep it a part of him forever. Rather than throw out the eye, he ate it. Either that or he was hungry, I don't know. But either way, that made him a very awesome character. Now, if you didn't unlock Zhang Liao, you would actually fight him here. Instead, we got Gao Shun. They are strong, but do not falter. Yeah, we'll be fine. Besides, I did power up a little bit. The real hard part is when we deal with Lubu himself. As soon as I take out this guy, I'll just go to a little point in the game where we need to go. Hey guys, can you go into attack mode and take out some of these guards? this horse. And I'll head over to the northwest. You'll see why soon enough. Just to get a little trigger in this game. A trigger that'll allow us to dispatch Lu Bu a little bit easier. The enemy outnumbers us vastly. Oh crap. Okay, the gate is opened. Now they're sending out a carriage. This will not be good. Basically, what will happen is that Lu Bu's daughter is going to be on the carriage and try to send reinforcements. We cannot allow this to happen. The worst part is Lu Bu comes with you. Ah, 
I keep hitting the carriage. Oh! Good, I lure Lubu away a little bit. There, that should stop the reinforcements. We will have to retreat. There, that should fix things up a little bit. Where's Lubu himself? Oh, he's behind me! I think I can just take some damage on him before he retreats. Yeah, let's just smack him around a little bit. Okay, he's actually taking some damage. Ow, ow! I took a lot myself. Ah, I got interrupted. Okay, by lowering his morale, he's actually easier to attack. Okay, that's actually going very well. So we gotta be careful with him, though. Because once he gets a Muso on us, it's gonna hurt. Ah, his guards. Okay, that should damage his morale. Oh, God. Oh, his guards. How many does he have? Why does he need so many guards? He's a little blue, after all. He's a one-hand wrecking show. That's the first time I've ever been able to destroy the carriage. Because he always keeps it protected. Oh, jeez. I, I think we should actually pull back for now. Let's just let him go back into his castle. We did our job. Oh god, he's still following me. Let's just get to this point in the game where I actually trigger a cutscene. At least I got my health back, most of it at least. Balls that stream. Actually, it may not be this one. We have to go southeast, I think. Is Lubu back into his castle yet? No, I think he's still in the west. I know, Shuju. I am very amazing. Yeah, people are still fighting him. Oh, man, he still hit me. Oh, I should not have gotten too close. Ah, oh, but he blocks so well. He's a very attentive fighter, I'll give him that. Okay, I think that's enough damage to him for now. We should probably just pull back. Alright, so now we should just definitely help out the other troops. Really glad we don't have to worry about Yuan Shu's forces, because he does send out a nice bit of units. Are my bodyguards still fighting him? I really hope they actually just come back here. Because this is just a lost cause, guys. Oh, there's Wei Shu. Yep, just by damaging these officers enough times, they will actually defect. So it's going to make our job a lot easier, knowing that Lu Bu has less forces. Okay, if he makes it back to the castle, that should be alright. Then we can just leave him alone for now. Oh, Song Xian is another officer we can get to defect. He's a bit busy with Guan Yu, though. I expect him to affect just for that. I cannot bear the same path with Lu Bu any longer. You can still defeat the officers, though, if you wanted to, and they'll still surrender. Even though they've been visibly defeated. Uh, is Lu Bu back in the castle? Yeah, he is. Okay. I think we have to deal with the stream over to the uh, southern side. It's 
It's probably around here in this corner. Okay, so there's obviously we don't do that yet. Oh, never mind. There is a stream going through the castle. That will substantially limit our movements. Yep, so all we have to do is just head over to the northwest because there is a, a rock we can use to uh, dam up the river. And that should allow it to flow inside the castle. Again, that will definitely lower Liu Bu's morale. Can no longer serve an animal. The only thing okay, fair enough. Use boulders to dam the stream going through the castle. Uh, so now we gotta head back to the northwest. That's where the boulder is. Ah, eh, sure, why not? Chen Gong sees resistance? Okay. Suppose we can get into the castle by other means? Probably not. Still gonna wait it out a little bit and head over to the uh, to the rock. And no, I'm not talking about Dwayne Johnson either. Nope, we still can't get in the castle yet. Wish I brought a horse with me. I mean, yeah, I'm moving a little bit faster, but not fast enough for my liking. Okay, just a few more, a few more like uh, kilometers, and we should be there. It's probably a little squirrel over there to the north. It's probably a gate captain. So let me go seal up that stronghold on the way. Oh, that's the Shu Zhu's job, and he's not doing a good job of it. Oh, that's close. But I did it better. Plus, I needed the extra health. Oh, there's the boulder. Right over here. Ha! The water's receding. Attack! Yeah, that did a lot. <laughs> really did. Okay, the east and south gates have opened. Okay, if I go over there to the northeast and I get a Chen Gong to surrender, Lu Bu will actually escape. A part of me doesn't want to do that. Oh. We must get it before him. Oh right, red hair. I might need to get that. Crush them. Where's Lu Bu to? Is he actually on the way to red hair? Oh god, there he is. Oh, if he gets red hair, that might be bad for us. At least I can just knock him off the horse, but I'd like for him to not get it at all. His morale is still very low. Getting to red hair might actually give us a much better chance of defeating him altogether. What I was about to say is that if you go over to Chen Gong all the way to the northeast, you can get him to defect as well, and then Lu Bu will actually escape. Seems like a good thing, because then you'll win the level. However, if he does escape, and you go to the next level, which is the Battle of Wan Castle, Lu Bu will be there. And you have to defeat him. And he's even tougher. So we want to make sure we avoid that. By defeating him here. I see why these guys never even bothered to pick up the horse themselves. It's just so lazy. Oh, and apparently I'm full on Muso. There. Red hair is mine. And look how fast he is. Compared to other horses. Like, this is just the stuff of wonders here. And yes, we can unlock red hair, but not yet. We have to do so later. Lu Bu should still be on the southeast wing of the castle. Let's go pay him a little visit. You know what? I'll just bring him a parting gift. Where is he anyway? Over here? Oh, there he is. He's literally got nothing going for him. Let's 
still got a nice bit of bodyguard, so that's probably the one thing he's got going for him. I can force him to try to escape, and the thing is, when he's running, he doesn't block at all. But you have to constantly play catch up, and that's the worst part. Ah, oh, damn it. Good cut. Did I even hit him at all? No. Better hit him within 30 seconds. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. He got his own attack power up. Please let this true move still connect. I got him! Wow! An even match. How interesting. Okay, I did not think I would survive that. That was very, very close. I'm not gonna lie. I thought Lubu got me. And then all this progress would have been rendered useless. I don't think he should show up at Wand Castle now, because he never really escaped. Ah, uh, Great Cemetery is still level 6. And the crew didn't level up. That's okay. Alright, we defeated him! Before his confrontation with Yuan Shao, Cao Cao heads east, leaving Lu Bu unchecked to prove disastrous. Using his cunning, Cao Cao attacks Japi Castle and defeats the mighty Lu Bu. If Yuan Shao had attacked from behind during the last battle, all would have been lost. But as Cao Cao predicts, the indecisive Yuan Shao does not act. If Cao Cao takes the initiative here, Defeating Yuan Shao's massive army would not be as difficult as it seemed. Alright, so I'm gonna stop the video right here, and then the next part, we do the Battle of Wan Castle. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.